which tells the story that Rabbi Kiva was once asked by Tunis Rufus, a Roman general, um, if Hashem is such a loving Abishter in God, why doesn't he help the poor? Why doesn't he feed the poor? So Rabbi Kiva answered him, because Hashem wants to give the people the merit, they should be able to help them. You have a schus, you have a mitzvah in helping the poor. He says, I'll ask you, I'll, I'll give you my question in a parable. He says, what happens if a king takes his servant, he was angry with his servant, and he throws him into prison. And he says that nobody should feed, nobody should feed this, this, this servant of mine. And then somebody, a man, goes secretly and he serves the, and he and he feeds this uh, this guy in jail. Wouldn't the king punish him? Uh, would you surely punish him? And aren't you called the servants of God? You're the servants of Hashem, and therefore you're doing what the king doesn't want you to do. He says, "Why well, don't feed them? He wants to make them poor, and you're feeding them. I'm sure you're going to get punished for it." So Rabbi Kiva says, "I'll give you an example, a parable of my own." He says, "What happens if a king has a son, and he throws his son into jail?" And he says, I don't want anybody to feed my son. And then somebody goes secretly and feeds his son. Wouldn't he at the end get a present, a gift from the king? The king would love him for it. And we are called, we're also called children to Hashem. So this is, in, in this parsha, as the Rashi says, the first Rashi in, in Kodeshim says that, that we have all the great principles of the Torah in this parsha. Of course, the Me'aftalerecha Kamecha, don't embarrass somebody, make sure you love everybody, and therefore, you have to reach out, no matter who, who they are, they're all children, we are, we are all children of Hashem, and therefore we have to love them, just like we love ourselves.